previously on the Shortbus Diaries. When we came up with this idea, this is kind of what we had in mind all along. We have two weeks ahead of us traveling and living solely out of this bus. And by this point, in Scotty's edits, you figured out that we have a new bus. None of us have really fished Colorado before, so it's nice to get out, explore another part of the country and see what it has to offer. So we're driving the bus through the canyon here, and we are headed on our way to meet up. I believe that everything up until that point was kind of a precursor to the trip. Oh, there we go. That's the fish we've been looking for. Yep. It has been absolutely nuts today. One of the better days of streamer fishing I've ever had in my life. Oh, oh. Shoot. It's a good streamer day. <laughs> Still stuck in this house with a mind full of doubts Tired of staring out the window Eating too much, drinking too much Tired of watching the grass grow Channel 2, Channel 3, back to Channel 2 I watched everything in my queue So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going Fly me on a plane, maybe out the wild Need an RV, no plans, just you and me I need to go somewhere All right, starting off one of our last couple mornings, we haven't done a big breakfast yet. So I thought I would get things kicked off with one of my favorites, just a little eggs and basket. Travis Rice, dropping in. Cafe or something like that, Backwoods Cafe. Bryant is the expert on breakfast though. If you need to know the best breakfast spot, what to order, where to go, Bryant's the guy to tell you. So trail routes like lets you know where the places are to fish. Exactly. I I have something coming out that lets you know the best breakfast place. So what's it called, B? Bacon routes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't don't film that, dude, because uh, <laughs> it's, it's copyright. Some may say that Google Maps does that. What would you What would you say to that? What my app is going to have is like actual veterans like actual vietnam veterans that are like in diners every morning that are going to be contributing to those the, those people know where to get the best breakfast yeah. do you know breakfast wow that's something special the bread is like a vessel to get bacon to my mouth <laughs> and it's it's incredible So Scotty and B are up uh, waiting today. They wanted to kind of check out this area up, uh, kind of in a canyon. So we decided to just put in the river and float down, which is kind of big water from here. Fishing was great yesterday. Uh, hopefully we can keep that going. Man, we, we started hiking up in there and it was like right off the bat, they were, they were in the same places that they were on the, the previous day. So we've got a dry fly rod slash nymph rod for today. We're fishing this uh, G Loomis NRX Plus that we've been loving. This thing's badass. And we've also got this G Loomis IMX Pro. This is a seven weight. We're gonna fish a streamer on this guy. So we just kind of have two options. Oh, 
Wow. Really good fish. <laughs> Dang. Dude, not a bad way to start it off. Beautiful little brown. Gonzo. Shoo. Shallow water, Sculperino. Just absolute wrecks. I guess. Downer. Sweet. Up two on the board. Not a bad start. So we haven't really done a whole lot of waiting on this trip. And you know, we do have the boats, which has been really nice. And I love fishing out of the boat, but I think it is fun sometimes to slow down be able to pick apart a section of river, take our time, and kind of have just a different approach than just always fishing out of the boat. But I hope Adam and Steve are having a solid day. Haven't really been able to talk to them yet. Like a fat chick in high school. We just can't get anything to commit. No officer. Oh! Dude, right now, right oh! now. So we keep having fish missing missing flies and only I mean we're moving a bazillion fish like every other cast but not very many of them are hooking up so back to the olive sculperino we got a brand new one on the other one got too chewed up we're gonna try a brand new one here see if we can't put a couple more fish in the boat Picked up a nice fish through here on that Sculperino again. It was the exact same water, exact same fly, exact same strip as everything from yesterday. So hopefully that uh, just stays true through the rest of the day. We were hiking on the trail and it's a little elevated from the river. And as we were kind of peeking down into the creek, there was a few spots that we spooked some fish, and they were so close to the bank. There he was. Oh my gosh. What is he doing up here? Do you guys see that? I bet you if I get higher in this hole, there'll be more. Yeah, I, I started casting in this little thing, and I hooked like three fish. I pulled a, a Steve. There we go. Dude. Like, three or four fish out of this hole, and I, I didn't catch a single one. No. No. Come back. Oh gosh, that was a large one, dude. I couldn't get the net out in time. And so I was hiking up further, just a couple steps further. Here's some more slick water. It looks like nothing. Had my rod in my left hand, just kind of inching my way up. And then all of a sudden the, the rod goes tight and there's a, there's a fish. Are you guys getting this? Dang, it's a good one too. He's coming to us. Oh my goodness, dude. We have just hit this river, I think at the right time. 
it is just insane. All these fish are in water you would never really cast here. We're just gonna bebop up through these little ankle deep pockets here and keep surging for them, but this is insane. Hey guys, hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Welcome to the new Blue Line mobile office here while we're getting our flies rigged up for you guys to uh, get your orders in. So we've been fishing a lot of our streamers on the trip and they've been killing it. Uh, hopefully you've been enjoying that. We specifically have been loving the Sculperino. Shout out to the freaking Sculperino. They, they all have <laughs> Sculperino wrecked on this river. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh. Right. There we go. Oh, that's a bad one. <laughs> and this is absolutely nuts. Nearly ramp to ramp for Bryant and I has been the Sculperino. Oh, we got an order in. We got an order in. Ah! Get it, get it. Ah! Get it. What's up, Buck Shell Cap? It's over there. It's over there. Give me that. Get it. Go for it. Here's a magnum. You need that too. I don't even know if you need that, but use it. Yep. Last thing. Let's go. Yes. Quicker. We got orders to place here. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm going. You I'm going. Whip finish. I'm going. Come on. Let's go. I'm going. All right. Pack it up. Let's go. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. We ain't got time for this. Come on. Quicker. Quicker. Package that. We got orders to run here. Let's go. Oh, they got a koozie too. Three. There we go. Oh, there we go. Go. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Put your needle in the island. It's gotta go now. Let's go. Come on. Quickly. There we go. All right. Next order. All right. We got the, the double dry action going. Tied on a little blue wing right here. We've been seeing a bunch of heads coming up. And so before Bryant throws a streamer through here, I'm going to try to get one of these guys. See if he'll eat. There he is. Yeah. Good brown. On the caddis. Boom. Big dry guy. That was such a cool eat. He just like sipped it. Dude, all these fish are just like so good. Sweet. Why is that lens so small? Don't worry about it. Is it because I'm big? Yeah, it makes you look smaller. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Blue Line Brews Beer Reviews. I'm your host, Adam. Today, we're going to review the Four Noses Melon Velvet. So it says here on the can, milkshake. IPA with cantaloupe. Uh, let's give it a shot. A milkshake IPA. It's like, what is that? Holy sh hold up. No, that's good though. That's like, that's like good though. Yeah, no, you, you, you need some of that in your life next time you're next time you're out and you're you know you're doing you just i'd actually recommend you buy some of that right there and put in your boat because that's that's actually really good stuff <laughs> after splitting up for the day we linked back up with the boys and started to make our way back to camp when we got back steve decided to make us one of his favorite hobo creations all right, so we are bringing two sides of the world together here. I saw that Adam was picking up rice to make with his main dish there, and we needed to pick up some soy sauce anyway for marinating. So I decided we're going to make an American classic here, Spam Sushi. Mm, there we go. Oh, what, Steven? That was a terrible idea. <laughs> Is that, is that really what you needed? <laughs> Why the f did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> so I was a little bored streamer fishing today. I needed some excitement in my life. So we lit the pan on fire.
we've got our spam, we've got our rice, we've got our seaweed, and we're gonna start just molding it and see what we can't make happen. Let's get this molded up here. Not great. I was never an artist, but I feel like we have a, a acceptable mound right here. So we have our roll nice and formed here. We have our seaweed, drop that on top there. And we'll drop our piece of spam on top. I just have to interject. The point of the seaweed is to hold the fish and or spam to the rice. So you would wrap it around the top like a belt that you would put on your Are you making the appetizers sushi? or am I making the appetizers? I like it. There we go. That's a successful appetizer. Dude. I feel like I'm eating legit sushi. I just made about two seconds what Steven <laughs> wasted your time showing you. Um, is that why there's rice all over It there? is legitimately good. You should try it. Yeah. I dedicate this one to my old manager, Carla. Like I said, I love setting stuff on fire, and we did it again today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Today we're, we're doing a float on a lower stretch of water. Generally that means there's less fish per mile, so less fish probably to be caught, but generally that also means that some of the bigger fish may be down this way. So we're kind of what they call head hunting today. guys it is starting to rain and uh, we got we got a jacket up here so we'll talk to you in a second it's gonna be a grinder boys Well, we just had pretty interesting weather there right after we, we put the boats in. But now, as you can see, the clouds are starting to clear away a little bit. We don't know if that's gonna be all day, but for now, we, uh, we're not wet. We planned this to have, you know, around two weeks to do this trip. But even then, you, know, you get out there and that goes by so fast. We wanted to get to some other rivers, but it is so hard to get away from a river, a river when it's fishing that good. Yeah, out of it. There we go. Okay. There we go. I feel like this this day and age, the social media, people are starting to forget what this is all about. It's about getting out here. It's about relaxing, disconnecting from the real world, and just having fun. This river's out here, it's public land, it's for all to enjoy. Let's let's act like that. We're Americans, we're free, let's let's enjoy it. Because I feel like, you know, there's no reason to come out here and get stressed when your daily life is already stressing you enough. Get out here, enjoy it, and be glad that other people out here are enjoying it as well, okay? Because that's how we have conservation is conservation areas that you know are supported by other people, other anglers getting out here. Oh my god! <laughs> that? that was a small map. A little uh, IPA to <laughs> get that in there. That's a real degreaser right there. <laughs> it's been uh, 
it's been a couple days since we had a shower. And we're finally getting a little bit of warm weather, so figure I get the grease out of my hair that's been just soaking and building up the last couple days. As our buddy Jake, Jerry Rig Jake likes to say, we've passed that point of uh, not being able to smell ourselves. <laughs> and so it's like, it's pretty stinky on the bus. And, but we don't even But we that. don't smell it. <laughs> I guarantee if someone walked off the street into the bus, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> So if there's one piece of advice I could give you guys out there, it's to get out and travel. Explore this vast, beautiful country that we live in. There's just so much public land available, especially out in the West here. And I feel like a lot, a lot of people understand how, how amazing this country is, how many natural resources out there. So if there's one bit of advice I could give you, it's get out, explore, find new places to have adventures in, gain new experiences, expand your thoughts, meet new people, and start to understand them. And I think if we could do that, we'd be a lot better off. How'd it go in there? Took care of some business, drank some coffee, and had to make some moves. Had an emergency, emergency business meeting. <laughs> Today's our last day of fishing. We're gonna be wading a new river uh, that we didn't know anything about. It's a pretty long river, so we're just trying to figure out if the higher elevation or lower elevation is kind of going better right now. As our trip through Colorado was winding down, we couldn't help but think back to how this whole idea started. Just a silly text and a group message. This very easily could have been just something that we sent in our group message that could have just kind of flown over our heads and been like, oh, it's a funny idea, whatever. Yeah, it was. it's, it's just a fleeting text message. It could have just gone away and no one could have acted on it. No, I couldn't have not. And then we like, we all had like a second guess and it was just like, well, let's do that. We all have dreams and aspirations of things we want to do, places we want to fish and goals we want to achieve. If this series has taught us anything, it's that you shouldn't let a good idea slip through the cracks. You should act on it. You know, obviously this was the idea was to have something like this, but I think we had to just start with something. We had to get the get the ball rolling, get that cheap ass bus. It was awesome, great memories in it, and it got us to to this point. So I think you just got to start, take those first steps, and then the rest will figure itself out. Huge shout out to this bus. <laughs> yeah. We did some stuff in this bus that the old bus would not have done. I'm good to hop in this bus and drive this thing to Alabama tomorrow. Like we could take this bus wherever we wanted to that a bus would go. Yeah, it opens up so many possibilities, you know, there's so much more room for us to improve on this, but at the same time, you know, it, it was almost perfect in my mind. I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. I'm going to tell my kids about it. I'll tell my grandkids about it, you know, and God willing, I'll tell his grandkids about that. <laughs> <laughs> So to all of you watching, we encourage you to plan that next fishing trip. Make that film you've always wanted to make, and chase after whatever adventures make you feel most alive. You don't have to have everything figured out. You just need a good attitude and an open mind. Nice bow to end the trip off. Wow, dude. I don't know if you guys can see in the background here, we are staying at a fabulous RV park. We got running water, we got electricity, none of which we can use because we don't have that in our setup. Anywho, as you can see, all these RVs, they look the exact same out here. 
it's cool, you get out, but you just look like everybody else. And that's what I want people to understand is that we're all individual human beings. We all have uniqueness in us. We all have something special, something that only they, only you, only I, only someone else can provide. And that's why I want you, to, you guys to know that it's okay to be unique. It's okay to stand out. It's okay to be a little bit different. Just like that beautiful beast right over there. That short bus says it all to us. Might not make it over a pass that quickly, but damn, it looks good. It is us having fun and just enjoying ourselves and enjoying life. Be unique, be yourself, have fun and enjoy life. It's too short to do nothing else but that. what you guys don't see usually in the films. Oh, I need a hat that I can put on backwards. Yeah. 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 Some cutties, dude. <laughs> nice. That was great. Oh my How'd gosh. I do? There wow. we go. I'm, blind. I'm G. Loomis Rods and this is Adam. I mean, hold up. I want to introduce to you the new fly delivery system. This thing is like UPS, but for flies and your house is the fish over in the water. G. Loomis just makes the biggest, longest rods. <laughs> <laughs> we're at a bus stop and some kids hopped on a bus and uh, we were really worried they were about to hop in here with us. But it'd probably be more fun and more educational than going to school, so. Compliments to the chef. My grandma had a thing in her house that says like, kiss the cook, so. Shit. Later. I'll talk to you later. I think I'm about to get be a new Tinder profile pic right here. <laughs> I'm just out here, you know, uh, slaving away, trying to get some new Tinder profile pics for my boys. Uh, Colorado's a pretty sick state, and you know, there's a lot of honeys around here, so I just wanted to have the best possible chance with this meetup tonight. <laughs> it was like the perfect scene. <laughs> I'm looking for the, uh, the door for the GoPro um, because the GoPro doesn't have... Oh, shit, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop. Just stop. Just stop everything. I <laughs> <laughs> got it. I constantly break these off every one of these trips, but I, uh, I recovered it, so you should be proud of me, Scotty. It's cute. It was the real, real reason we stopped here so you could use the restroom. Absolutely, Steve. You should know better right now. Yeah, fair enough. Small bladder gang. B, any final words oh. before we get on the road? SPG? SPG. Uh, uh, you gotta hunt where the prey is. Oh.